Hello and good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I have quite the day planned today. It's been a while since we've done a video exclusively about Carol, and that's because I got so many things going on. Today we're gonna get Carol out. We're gonna start working on her training. So she's been molting for the past uh, three, four months. She's still not quite done, so we're just gonna kind of take it easy on her. Uh, it's a really stressful time during a bird's life and they need like every bit of nutrition they can get. And so you have to feed them a lot, you have to keep them really fat. And when they're fat, they don't seem to listen very well. So uh, I'm gonna go train her a little bit on the line. She can't free fly quite yet. I also got a bunch of projects to do. I gotta wake up little man here so we can go outside and do some, get some work done. Hello? Hi, feller. Hey, Oh, you stink, you stink. So we're actually working on getting the house cleaned up because we're gonna have some pretty cool guests over. So today on the project list, uh, I need to get the guest bedroom all set up and make sure that just the guest wing of the house is not totally trashed. Is it trashed? Are you guys gonna trash it? Yeah, probably. Come on. We got stuff to do. Stuff to do, bud. As I said earlier, you gotta make sure that they have like a really, really um, diverse diet during molting. So this is chicken gizzard. I've been feeding her a mix of all sorts of stuff between like cow heart, chicken hearts, duck hearts, chicken gizzards, chicken legs, pheasant. Uh, she even ate a lizard the other day. Um, so just trying to keep uh, her diet varied so that she grows those beautiful red feathers and uh, some healthy wing feathers as well. Let's get out here. Let's go. Ugh. I have a ton of stuff to do around the property today to get it ready for our special guests. I'm not sure if I want to tell you who the special guests are yet or not. Whoo, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna start out the day by putting Carol out on the creance and just letting her be outside. Like I said, she hasn't, we haven't been working together very much. And so she's been a little bit skittish, like right at first when she comes outside and when she's with me. So I'm gonna let her just sort of like get her outside and just let her acclimate to being outside for a few minutes while I work on some projects today. Uh, I might even let her sit out there for a solid hour. Uh, that's just, the more I do that, the better she's gonna feel. There she is, everyone. If you haven't checked back in a while in the falconry videos, she's looking quite a bit different. You can see she's got a lot of like rust and red on her uh, chest, which used to just be kind of white and creamy. And the feathers just look Beautiful. She's some really nice wing feathers. She still has a couple more coming in. A couple of beautiful red tail feathers. She's looking really, really good. I'm gonna put her up on the perch here and just let her acclimate to being outside. She got a couple bites of food, um, but we want to fly her a little bit today, so I don't want to feed her too much at once, because um, otherwise she'll have no interest in flying to me. Gosh, you are looking good. You're a good looking bird, aren't you? Good girl. Come on, buddy, we're gonna let her hang out, okay? Come on. So basically, we're gonna act as if she's a wild bird, and if, and even worse than that, like worse than just freshly caught, because she knows me enough to sort of like not be afraid of me, and so she's a little bit less uh, predictable. <laughs> So one thing that's always on my list to do is to work in the barn, trying to get it fixed up. Today's project is to clean out this area. Underneath all these pallets um, is nice concrete like that. And so I want to get all this crap out of here, all this hay and stuff. And this will be really good parking area for, uh, for side-by-sides. I need to get a tractor. Pointing out our barn's flaws. That's rude. She's a trusty old barn. She's gonna be fine. Can we put Patreon money towards replacing this half the roof since that half is done? This one has holes. Yeah, we can do that. You can get more patrons. I said no. 
See, I'm more concerned about our barn falling on Max than I am him dying in a paramotor. <laughs> Just saying. That's So I've got a considerable amount of work done in here. Still a lot to do, but um, uh, Carol has gotten quite comfortable sitting outside. She started to preen, which means she's she's taking oil from her preen gland and spreading it across her feathers and cleaning herself. And that's a really good sign. It means she's super content. If you've been following along with the channel, the past couple of Carol videos I've done, she's been kind of skittish outside. We have a, another hawk in the area, and it kind of makes her a little bit leery uh, and so that's why I wanted to just let her sit outside for an hour or two just to kind of get comfortable and acclimated to the outdoors before I started doing my training. So I'm gonna go ahead and start training her. First we'll start off with a few short hops to the fist. Carol and I are headed to the backyard. Um, just kind of want to take her back there because I need to mow this field. Oh well it's not too bad but the backyard's so nice. So we're gonna go hang out in the backyard. Hey. Come on. So the first thing I want to do is build up a good routine. Get her used to hopping to the glove again. She's pretty good at it already. Good girl. And then another thing that we want her to do is to jump off of the fist as well. And so I've been sort of trying to teach her that when I tip my glove down, it means it's time to hop off of my hand. So that was something that we got down again uh, just the other day. It took all day to teach her to get off of my hand when I did that because she wants to hold on in hopes that I'll give her more food without having to do another trick. Girl. So once the food's gone, I'll tilt my hand down Hopefully she'll jump back up. I want her to get back up on her perch. No, on her perch. Go to your perch. There you go. And just build this routine of going back and forth. It's also important that she waits until I get my hand up. Good girl. All right. I'll do one more and we'll start creating a little bit of distance between us. So I wasn't ready for her on that one, so I shouldn't reward that behavior. Let's put her back. Now she's upset. <laughs> there you go. Back. Now I want her to get back up on the perch on her own as a, to kind of show me that she's ready to keep going. There we go. Good job. So this is Carol's Creance line. Uh, I can't remember how far out this goes, but it goes super long. Uh, it's a lot better than this 10 foot, 12 foot line. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, she's still kind of training and she's kind of been... <laughs> she's kind of been misbehaving lately, like that. Uh, that was something that she wouldn't do before. Like She'll try stuff she's definitely not supposed to be doing. She wasn't even... And she's, she knows better. But she tries it anyway, so she's like a she's like a little like a toddler. Like a moody little toddler. Scraped me. I'm going to get her on the longer line and practice some 
uh, yard length runs here with her. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll take her off the line today. There's just, this is still such a new area and there's, uh, she's just still kind of misbehaving. It's really good that she's this eager to fly to the hand. It's just, it's just kind of impolite. You know, she's not waiting for food or anything. And another thing I'm doing is I'm trying to hide the food more so that she's more likely to come to my hand regardless of if I have food or not. I'll always have the food in my hand, but uh, she started getting to the point where she had trained me. Nope, see that wasn't correct. I want her to go back. She's not gonna like it, but I'm gonna take her back because I hadn't put my hand out yet. She got impatient. I could be wrong, but it seems like after this stage, uh, that first year, She's like trying really hard to sort of train me. Uh, so like last year towards the end of the season, she had me like piling tons of food up on my hand before she would come down. And, uh, and so I, I want to avoid doing that. So that's why I'm hiding the food. And I'm also being a little bit more strict about her leaving the perch early. That's what we want right there. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good bird. One thing that makes it hard to uh, to make videos with Carol is when you're training like this, you can really only fly her maybe 10 times. And even that is kind of high uh, until they're like really, really well trained. So there's not that much content I can do besides just free flying her a few times. But I'm hoping that you guys will subscribe and follow along for a while so you can see her hunt this year. Last year, we only managed to get out on a few hunts and we weren't very successful. Uh, there's, I'm not really sure how I can fix it, but she sort of screeches when we go out on uh, and, and train and do hunting stuff, and it, it probably drives away prey. So that's something we need to work on. So what I'm trying to do, what I'd like to do now that she's sort of, we're getting ready for hunting season, is probably do a training video like this that's like not too crazy, not like too much going on, but something like this on a regular basis, maybe once a week or every other week. If you'd like to see that, just sort of like, progress updates, let me know. I have a habit of wanting every video to be super epic and uh, can't always be like that when you're training a hawk. Ow, right in the eye. Good girl. So now that she's uh, successfully done that flight a few times, I will walk it back a little bit further and do it a few more times. starting to get lazy, she's filling up. So this is why we can only do so many flights per video. See how she came as soon as she saw it. It's just extra motivation for her. But you want her to be motivated enough to come just as soon as she sees the fist. But only when I put it up there for her. Good girl. Yep. Girl. So I'll try to get you guys a, a closer look at it. If you're a falconer, you might have noticed uh, Carol is due for coping. Coping is where you take a file or a Dremel tool and you trim down their beak a little bit. Uh, it's just like a toenail. It needs to be trimmed. Um, in the wild, I'm not sure how they deal with it. Sometimes they probably just get overgrown and they break off. I don't know. But in captivity, for the best care for her is to have her beak coped. So I'm gonna have to get a hold of my sponsor and have him do that, show me how to do it. Uh, but otherwise, her beak is looking really healthy and so are her talons. I'll give you guys a look here as soon as she flies over here. Okay, see how her the bottom beak is kind of catching the top beak when she smacks her mouth? And sometimes it even causes her to kind of hold her mouth open because it just sort of wedges like that. But otherwise, I mean, look at her. Look at her talons. They are looking, her feet are looking really healthy. She has really big feet for a red tail. Oh, a little piece just fell. You want that? I knew you would. I knew you'd want that. 
skinny tiny bit. Good girl. So as far as like Carol training day videos go, this one's pretty boring because it's just it's just repetition. That's how you get these uh, habits ingrained in them, and uh, that's what makes them. Uh, more reliable is just doing this over and over and over and over again and you can kind of tell like as the day goes by she's just getting better at it and tomorrow she'll be even better and the next day she'll be even better so we just got to keep doing this until she's more well-rounded and ready for hunting season and then during hunting season you have to keep up on training so it's a lot of work That skin, you don't want that. Ooh, she's grabbing on. <sighs> ouch, 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 ouch. Jump down. You wanna let go of my arm? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm, don't mind if I do. Dragon fruit. Oh, dude, my back is killing me. I must sit lifted wrong or something when I was moving all that stuff. So anyways, uh, I know that there's not been too many Carol videos and that's because she was molting, but now we're gonna build her training back up and there'll be lots of stuff to do. Um, she's been an awesome bird so far. I really think that we're gonna get something this year. I think it's gonna be a really, really cool moment. and It's gonna be worth the wait for you guys. So if you've subscribed solely for Carol, uh, I understand the summer was a little bit boring but we're gonna get a lot more Carol videos going. And I hope that you enjoy my other videos too, because we got a lot of really cool like adventure videos, um, travel videos, and just stuff that I think like typically, I mean, if I like falconry and that other stuff, then you might like that other stuff too. So, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Carol back. We'll be flying her again. Well, I'll fly her again tomorrow, and then I'll be flying her with my special guests on Sunday. Ah, maybe I should just tell you who it is. So uh, when we were in Las Vegas, we met a super cool cu couple. They have a channel called Light Bright, and uh, they're gonna be traveling through Washington. And I said, hey man, why don't you guys stop by the property and hang out with Carol and maybe shoot some guns or something. And so they're stopping by, pretty cool. They were just featured on a Netflix show called Hyperdrive. You should check it out. Pretty rad, super cool stuff. But I'm gonna put Carol back. Um, and that just, that's like an example of, wow, Carol's in a lot of videos. They're just not always titled like falconry. So if you're here specifically for falconry, um, you might be missing some cool, sweet Carol action if you're not watching the other stuff. But hey, that's on, that's on you. That's totally on you. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about how I got into falconry, um, how I got Carol, how I built my enclosure, all that kind of stuff, it's all here on YouTube on my channel. At the end of this video, in the end screens, I will put up a playlist. It'll be called falconry or something. Click on that and you can watch all of the falconry videos from day one. You can watch the entire journey. Pretty cool. Sit down, get some popcorn, watch it, learn something, and be entertained. Carol here, she's going to go back in her enclosure. Let me get her some water. That's a good girl. Starting to build trust back up, huh? That's a good girl. God, I love this bird so much. She's literally just the coolest thing ever. They're so cool. They're like really feisty cats. You can kind of touch them sometimes. Sometimes they're like, don't you touch me. <sighs> All right, I got lots to do today. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithms and whatnot. Leave a comment in the comment section below about what you'd like to see next, whether it's with Carol or with the property or the barn or the motorsport stuff, whatever you want to see. I hope that you guys are still enjoying the channel. Uh, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm really excited to, to continue growing this channel and growing this community. Thank you guys so much for watching. You've been awesome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Because my channel is so randomized, like I have falconry videos and motorsports videos and travel videos, because it's so random, Google doesn't know, it doesn't know who to notify 
when I upload because it's just so random. So it's kind of detrimental to my channel to have it be like that, but I enjoy it because it gives me creative freedom to sort of make whatever video I like. If I were to have stuck with just a falconry channel or just an off-road channel, I personally would become bored. And so I like to just cover everything I'm doing because I feel like there's more room to I don't know, just share my passions and my inspirations and hopefully motivate and inspire people to get out of their house and do something and, and be good people. So that's pretty much what the channel is all about. So um, seriously, thank you so much for watching. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Pop up. Good girl. She's like, don't put me away. I want to stay outside and be friends. She's super full. She's ready for a nap. Are you ready for a nap?